One more this week. We're doing one more this week for Chrono Trigger. For Chrono. Actually, no, it's spring streaming week. Whatever. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to think of a dumb phrase to call it just because I'm streaming more than I usually do. And I don't even know why. I'm just kind of doing it out of, like, the sense that I have to make up for missing streams, which, at this point, like, who even really cares? <laughs> if I don't stream, I don't stream. Anyway, uh, last time, we went to the future. It was a mess. We came back. Or, we found Robo, came back, learned magic, and then we went to a cave and came out of Whirlpool, and... I don't know what we have to do now. Go back to 600 AD, I think. I think if we go in here, though, we can access the other portal first, though. The, the nine portals. Don't ring. It rang. Anyway, tonight's not gonna be... A super... Well, I mean, it's gonna be a substantial stream. It's not gonna be three hours, though, because I only just started, and... Uh, tonight was all my fault. I actually ate dinner early, but... I just stalled afterwards. I was trying to get a couple things done. Starting at 7 is becoming really hard for me to do. But we will get a, um... And since it's Thursday, I can't go past 10. But, uh, you know, we're still gonna get another two hours and ten minutes out of this. So, this is considering how long Chrono Trigger is, that's more than enough time to make a substantial amount of progress. Yeah, I always, whenever someone learns a new technique, I always switch everyone out to different combinations just to get the dual and triple techs in place. Bangor Dome. Oh, I was gonna say, that wasn't there before. <laughs> That's, that's where this war point led to, and because of that, it just added both to the uh, the uh, end of time. It's c it's convenient to get all of them there, because then you could travel between them quicker. Earthward. Yeah, it's coming up soon. <clears throat> It doesn't feel like it, but it is. It's less than two months away. It's a month and a half. J June is fast approaching. Man, let me, let, ever since, ever since I graduated college, you know, life just goes so goddamn fast. It's like I don't even have to worry about winter anymore because winter's gone. <laughs> as soon as I like think about it. I just want to come here and see all the dances for each character. Time for Super Salt soon, or the Hype Train, whichever comes first. Uh, you know, knowing E3, it's probably going to be a little of both. The hype train's gonna be during Nintendo and Sony. The salt's going to be during Ubisoft and EA. Probably Microsoft, too. Microsoft has a lot to prove, I feel. Because they've been very kind of... 
aloof about their, like, plans lately. Like, last year... Last year, aside from the hardware reveal... Wait, was last year Xbox One X, or was that two years ago? I'm actually not sure anymore. I feel like there was nothing announced at Microsoft's thing. The only thing that was shown off that people enjoyed was, um... Dragon Ball Fighters, which wasn't even Microsoft exclusive. Man, I would love to play that game. I wish I had a better computer. I would totally play it. Year and a half? No, no, it was revealed at E3. So it was either a year ago or two years ago. I think it was a year ago. But now I'm not so sure. There's the one that goes to 600. It's nice that they have this hub area here that you can just access really quickly. So I guess the implication is that the other warp point in uh, 2300, the one that led us to the end of time initially, was supposed to go to 65 million BC, or prehistoric era, but it didn't, because we had four people with us. But that's why the portal to it was already there in the end of time. Or so I believe, I'm not sure. That wouldn't explain why there's a portal to 1000 AD at the end of time already. completed the bell when Magus's army wounded our king. I've lost the will to work. I hope this bell will ring in a new world of peace. I just realized that this is kind of, that's kind of a double meaning to that sentence. I read it as in the, the bell itself will, will bring in the new world of peace. It'll ring it in figuratively when they mean the dialogue's actually meant to be taken literally. They want it to ring in a world of peace, which it is, because it's played, it's in the uh, present day. The bridge is fixed, sort of. Our rations have run out. Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? Our food supplies have run out. We cannot defeat Magus's army by ourselves. Our only hope is the hero. Forming a protective ring around the hero, the best knights of the kingdom kicked off the offensive. I never believed those stories about the hero and his legendary medal. Now it turns out he's our only hope. It appears our knights and Magus's troops are locked into battle at the center of the bridge. May we merge victorious. Does the hero alone have the power to take on Magus's army? So the bridge is fixed, but now there's there's a little little bit of a tussle going on over there. So got to deal with that first. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you again. Hero, you just went to see the king a moment ago. So Crodo, the legendary hero, has finally appeared. He just arrived a moment ago to meet the king. The king was injured and is recuperating in bed. I can't remember this part. It, it, Frog is the hero.
King fought bravely against Magus' troops. Had he not heard of the arrival of the hero, he might have fought to the death. At this rate, Queen Lean will also succumb. Cyrus must have sent the boy to us. Oh, Chrono. I've let down my kingdom. Since we cannot locate Cyrus, our sole hope rests on the boy who has the hero medal. He searches the southern continent for the sword that can defeat Magus. Oh, right, right, I know, I remember this now. There, there's just a boy called the hero who has the medal. My brother, he's... That's what you get for thinking you're the only ones fighting for your country. Hey. Stop bickering. Grow up. You know, I should stop giving him an accent because it has... He's the knight's brother and I don't give the knight's... I don't give the commander's brother... Or I don't give his brother an accent. Pipe down. What do you know? Hey, hey, come on now. He acts that way, but the chef always worries about the night captain. Those two are really looking for a way to make up. And they're such fools. That's weird, I thought you were supposed to get the jerky now. Sorry, I don't have time right now. Neither. I didn't even notice that was there. Man, this controller is really starting to get busted. The L and R buttons aren't working properly anymore. Like, they have no click to them. Oh, here we go. Wait! Take this with you. Got one jerky. And this is for you guys. Take it, will ya? A power tab. And tell that fool he'd better come back alive. So there is a way to get another jerky. You could buy it for, I think, 9,800 gold. Doesn't it's key I it's a key item though? That's weird. Who can use the power tab? We'll give it to... Might as well give it to Chrono. <laughs> I pretty much just give all the tabs to Chrono because he's the only one who's constantly in your party for most of the game. I believe there's a boss fight coming up here. Uh-oh. Looks like these guys got their asses kicked. Sir Chrono, is that for us? Food rations! The cook, he has saved us all! Sir Chrono, if I do not make it back, give my brother my thanks. What is going on here? Magus's troops have launched an attack. They're breaking through our defenses. Stop sniveling. It shames the knights of the square table. We shall destroy Magus's troops and bring honor to our king. But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. We must let no one through. Understood. Magus's army is awfully well trained. The hero has somehow made it across the bridge, but our troops have suffered heavy losses. Mere mortals can never expect to beat Magus's troops. Ugh. Mm. 
One little poke and you guys go down. I'm Ozzy, Magus's top general. Those who defy Magus have to answer to me. Yes, my children. Give them a taste of doom. Fat Piccolo. Oh good, I forgot shadow damage. They just restore that. Again, we're in a point where it's like you have to use magic. Ozzy needs help. Those whips are stronger than I thought. He's pretty swift when it comes to running away. Seems I misjudged you, but I won't do that twice. That fiend. That utter madman. You're through. You got your girl. Ah. Poke. Can we let Luca finish her thing? See, the thing is, even though she has fire elemental attacks, none of them pack the punch they need to, aside from the actual fire spell. Like, they really want you to use magic for these, these parts. And bringing Robo was kind of a bad idea, because shadow damage is just absorbed. In fact, I better switch out for Marl again. You like the Ozzy voice? I'll work on that. Actually, having something in my mouth would probably make that easier. Drat. We better pull Marl in here, because having dark element attacks will not help here. That's it. Now you're finished. Don't mess with Chrono or you'll be really sorry. Now we gotta fight this monstrosity. Go, Zombor. Crush your Magus' enemies. Uh, I cannot remember what does what and which part's the right part to hit. Okay, so, head's impervious to magic. Crotch face is impervious to magic. Shit. That was a waste. Oh, no, fire hurts it, though. Okay. Yeah, now we...
that 64 damage crit. <clears throat> I mean, again, the damage, the physical doom, 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 doom. The physical damage is definitely reduced on them. Whoa, boy. Uh, we better aura whirl. Aura whirl. It's kind of hard to pronounce. Don't, 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 don't do the fuck beam. Oh, what, what are you doing? What's that? What's that? You poking? See what does damage to its top half. I think this boss is just absorbent to uh, ice and lightning in general. Nope, never mind. Ice hurts it. I'm guessing fire is going to heal it, though. Yep. Alright, so ice is what I got to do. Got to go with ice. You know, Luca's standing there wide open. You can attack her once or twice. Buster. Oh, that sucks all of her MP, yeah. I hated that about, uh, MP Buster in this game. Usually it's done as a dying move, though, so it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, MP Buster in this game, uh, absorbs all of your MP at once. It's very much a pain in the dick. Thanks to Sir Chrono, we held the bridge. But unless we defeat Magus, this is an empty victory. We held Zenon Bridge with Sir Chrono's help. Yeah, I know. You're saying that a lot. Alright, to pour. Alright, actually, no, not yet, because there's another town here. What, what happens to this town? Why does this town di disappear? Dorino. Dorito Inn. I want you to find the mythical rainbow shell. Here's some front money. We're counting on you, Toma. Hey, no problem. Cause like, I'm the mythical... Cause like, I'm the mythical explorer. Good match, eh, hey, Chief? Hmm. I'll be waiting for the good news. With that settled, I'll grab a bite before I go. I'm busy right now. Let's talk later. We could use the rainbow shell to make some reflective armor. It'll be strong against magic. But that guy's a little flaky. Was it a mistake to trust him? The hero has come. He's strong and he's gonna thrash those monsters. Only the ancient sword Masamune can defeat him, and only the hero can wield it. The chief of Sandorino Village lives here. So it's called Sandorino, like Saint Dorino, but then the actual inn is just called Dorino Inn. Are you foreigners? Did you flee from Magus's troops? Magus has three fearsome henchmen, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. They're tone-deaf evil fiends. 
Get it? Because they're named after musicians, so they're saying they're tone deaf. Magus's lair is on an island to the east. Sheer cliffs make it inaccessible. Masamune. The hero has appeared? That means the epic battle will begin. Welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, let's buy a few more. We, we actually should probably start stocking up on revives. They're fairly cheap in this game compared to most uh, RPGs. Shelters we're good on. Uh, uh, we're good on most. At this point, I should be buying mid tonics over regular tonics. That's weird, I can't sell my accessories. Probably that's why I probably have so many of them. Thanks a lot. San Dorito. Yeah, Saint Dorito. Mom said I can't play outside because of the monsters. But I'm so bored. Is it true the king was injured? What's going to happen to us and our country? Oh, where could Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. I heard magic. I heard Magus knows arcane magic, which the monsters can't match. It's locked. But there's something in there. There's a little sparkly thing. I want it. Are Magus' armies really closing in? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so we'll be alright. Did you know? They say the mythical Masamune lies deep within the Denodoro Mountains, but it's guarded by terrible beasts. Wanna hear my tale? Goblins with huge hammers roam to the Denodoro Mountains to the east, but burn their weapons and their pussycats. Well, I'll tell someone else then. Oh. Magus is trying to bring forth an immense evil. If he succeeds, there will be nowhere to run. We'll all perish. That's why I'm living it up now. Hey, how have you been? You pay my tab and I'll let you in on some stuff. How about it? Thanks a bunch. Hey, one more, please. Some creepy, dangerous frogs have taken over the southern woods. That's it? That's it. Many people go to the inn. If you seek someone, ask there. By the way, energy whirls will dissipate if you use your slash attack. There's balance in nature. Clear your conscience, the end of the world is coming. Looking for the hero? Go south to the village of Poor, where they say he's from. Have you met the hero already? I haven't met him either. I wonder what the champion of the world looks like. I'm so excited. Wow, I wish I could just get a glimpse of him. I've got butterflies. A, sw a sword... A sword... Called the something or other Mune. Was made hundreds of years ago. No one has the skill to make a sword like that anymore. Hello there, this is the R&R &R Hotel. It'll cost you 50 G. Well... Will you stay? Hell yeah, I will. Oh yes, well then, rest and relax. We need to go to Mountain Dew Village now. We, we've cleared out Dorino. Now we have to go to Mountain... Mountet Dew. husband Marco hasn't returned from the war, but these woods mean a lot to us, so I'll guard them until he returns. Magic cave? There's nothing magic about this place.
So at the island right there, excuse me, exists in 1000 AD? I'm not sure. I don't think it does. Oh no, it does. Did you see it? G in advance. Well, come again soon. Now put on this armor and fight that stupid Magus. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Yeah, it's heavy. Hmm. Power tab. I didn't give me any uh, dialogue when I talked to him. It's a little, a little weird. Speed plus two and fire guard up. See, like, that's worth it, but it's the defense drop in general isn't really that good. Power meal? What? The fuck is power meal? Where'd I get that from? remember that item at all. What the fuck? It's usable in the overworld. So... It recovers from question mark. That's weird. I don't remember getting that at all. A strange monster came by the other day, mumbling about a Queen Lean and the Masamune. That sure were an ugly frog, hardy har. I can't believe the legendary hero was a boy from this village. Did you hear the latest? Well, remember that the legendary hero was from this village, then. Everyone's talking about him. I bet his old man is proud. I can't believe the legendary hero is that naughty runt Tata. Have you heard about the magical cave? The one east of Denodoro Mountains? I saw a rock wall there pop open, and a gaggle of ghouls just walked right in. Best to leave Magus and his cronies alone, though. Little Tata must be away. We haven't seen him in a while. But things are a lot quieter without that brat around. Hey, you again. How about buying me a soda? <laughs> Thanks. I'll wish you a safe journey. I tracked down the rainbow shell that chief wanted. It's on some small island. Only thing is, I don't know which island, and the money he gave me is gone. Oh, so what should I do? My son's a legendary hero. Must have been all that oatmeal. And to think that I'm his father. My grandson's a brave hero. That's from my side of the family. <laughs> I'm gonna marry Tata. 
If only I had some jerky. What a great meal I can make. Kids, stop running in the way. Next to the bed is a treasure box. Open it and the contents are yours. Tata received the hero medal. At first I thought it was fake. He must have done something very brave. He's probably up north looking for the legendary sword. The magic cave lies under a mountain east of Denodoro. So now I believe what happens is if you bring her some jerky from the future, I think you have to go buy I think you have to buy it. I don't think you could just get it from here anymore. But if you go to the future and buy the jerky for about 10,000 gold and then give it to her in the past, it makes the village elder in the present a nice person. Cursed Woods. Sign. Private property. No trespassing. Gribbit. These things don't go down easy. Barely got both of them in that. How does jerky make the elder nice? Um, well, no. You give the jerky to the woman in the past. You buy it from the future, get it, give it to the woman in the past, and then she says that she will make sure that her family. Her descendants grow up to be as kind as Chrono was, and that turns the jerk elder in the present into a good guy. And I believe he gives you, like, a chunk of money. Notice how Vinny keeps changing how he says Masamune. Yeah, I think he just can't remember the, his own way of saying it. <laughs> it's supposed to be Masamune. That's how it's pronounced. But he'll he'll occasionally say Masamune. I think it's a mistake a lot of people make, though. It's just funny how he's very inconsistent with how he says it. Then again, I don't know how Magus's name is actually pronounced, so. I say Magus, and apparently that's wrong. It could be Magus. 
It can be, uh... Magus. Probably not. It's, it's, no, it probably isn't. I said, well, it's, it's either Magus or Magus. Or Magus. It's either a hard G, a soft G. Or a hard G with a long A. I say Magus. But people have said Magus, and some people say M Magus. Because Mage. Like, when they, when they talk about him in this game, it almost sounds more like they're referring to him by a title and not his actual name. And that he only actually goes by, by Magus or Magus or Magus or whatever, because that's what people call him. And that makes sense, because, again, you know, that's not actually his real name. Words are hard. It's like Ar Ar Arceus, Arceus. Got one magic scarf. Who's there? Wait, no, that's how that's how Vinny voices him. Vinny does like a Sean Connery voice for Frog. I was doing more of the flamboyant. Oh yeah, tis thee, Chrono. Thou art here to practice thy so skill in swordplay? Oh. Again, was not aware that I can move. What? The king has been injured? I see. Tis nary a thing I canst do. Please be on thy way. The hero I am not. I can do naught. Upsetting. I think it's neat how these, like, the Gnawlers, or the Gnawers, have a, uh, kind of, like, parasitic relationship with the, with the tea poles, where they'll just eat them. It makes attacking them the smart move, because then they'll just kill the other guys. No, I need to keep Luca in the party, because fire. Pull Robo for a bit, though. Let's see how he fares. It's kind of weird, because, like, this, as soon as you get past the part where you get Robo, you enter a long stretch of the game where they're like, okay, you need to rely on magic for a while. Also, Shadow Element will heal almost everything. So Robo becomes kind of useless for a while. Then Adoro Mutz. Oh, we found the Mountain Dew. We found the Dorito, the Dorito Dew Mountain. Uh, 
one, three hundred g. Three hundred g. Uh. <laughs> this is a terrible place. You'd best run away while you can. So, like they said, the secret with these guys, hit them with fire, burns away their weapon. I believe they don't take a lot of damage while their weapon is out. Mirage hand. Magic plus two. Mm -hmm. uh, Chrono's already got that equipped. Mirage hand. It's very weird that there's weapons for Robo in like 600 AD. Gotta revive. A reviv. Got an ether. That asshole. Freelancer. And now he's dead. This game, let me tell you, this game is gorgeous. It's so, like, not template-y. Like, all the terrain feels almost like it's custom-drawn. I mean, it's not true. There are some a bit of templates used here and there. But it's extremely versatile. It's done in a way that doesn't look like repeating patterns over and over again. Supposed to like take us by surprise, or what's happening there? Yeah, that hammer just gives him a huge amount of defense. Gotta burn that shit away. enemies are pretty weak for this point in the game. Then again, this game tends to favor uh, you in most circumstances when you first get to them. I can only think of maybe one or two areas where the enemies are so powerful that it's like actually a struggle to kind of get through them.
It's mostly just the bosses, really. Also healing in this game. Very overpowered. You you quickly get to a point where healing is just so easy. Gold helm. Four for him. Four for him. Oh, it's just better than the iron helm. Oh. Who was less again? 88, 82. Alright, we'll give it to Kron. We'll give it to Crow. Nah. Crona. Crono. So yeah, my plans for this game are actually to uh, play it through fully, get the... Wait, that thing has a hammer? Yeah, it does. Shit. It's a wasted attack. So yeah, my plan is to play through the game fully, get the main ending, uh, do all the side quests and have that be it. But then what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'll save a New Game Plus file, and then I think maybe next year I'll do, um... I'll do a second run of the game and get all of the endings. And I'll just make that a separate stream, just because I don't want to go through the game twice in a row. Right now. I don't have the patience for it, and also... Doing that right now would, um... Just take too long. It's, it's the fact that I have other games I want to play before June, and also the fact that it just, it's just going to take a long time. Also, I believe this hurts you every time you get hit by these. Not sure though. 169. Yeah, that hurts. Got one mini there. So, this thing that f fires at you constantly, uh, if you come back later in the game, you can actually grab that thing he's throwing at you. I believe it doesn't happen until well into late game though like you're you have to be within the final scenarios of the game to do it but yeah i mean you can look forward to two playthroughs of this one one this year right now and then next year when i do new game plus the see the other problem with new game plus is that it's going to be me fighting lavos like 12 more times with just different teams and different uh setups so it's not going to be too interesting and most of the endings aren't that great so it's really just going to be blowing through the game very quickly it's actually not super interesting but I will do it Where's the? isn't there a dude here I guess he's not here right now Shut up. Get lost. Robo's post-game, uh, in the DS version. So in the DS version, all the characters get ultimate weapons that you don't get, that are, like, above the ultimate weapons in this version. 
and uh, Robo's is an arm that has zero attack power. So it does very little damage, but if he crits, it automatically does 9,999. It, it does the max amount of damage in one hit. No, no, no! Shit. I mean to do that. That was an accident. Got a silver earring, huh? Max HP up by 25. Ribbon and... What's the ribbon do? Strike plus two. Uh, I don't think the HP is really necessary. If I get to a point where someone's getting their ass beat, maybe I'll consider it. Chaos? What? I chose poorly here. Nice, though. She, uh... She attacked the enemy. Spin cut? What? Two times damage. Okay. Mountains are nice. This is the life. Mountains are nice. Man, you're nosy. Here, take this. We need that magic boost. I mean, Robo has no magic, but it does. It does magic actually affect his moves or no? I can't remember. Chrono still needs it the most, though. Well, actually, no. Robo has the lowest magic. Covers from what? What the fuck is this item? Oh. What? What just happened? She recovered all her HP, but nothing... Fucking... What the shit? Okay, well, never mind.
Okay, Luca needs that. Because Luca's speed is pretty bad. I guess it was just a healing item. Luca learned a new move. Napalm damages enemies in bomb area. Fire sword attack single. Robo back in the party now. Both of them. Now nah, there's no point. was kind of a bitch. Uh, and we didn't learn anything either. There was no text learned from that. Kinda sucks. I'm the I'm the wind. Whoosh. Stop. Are you here for the Masamune? You're not. You should leave quickly. Thought so. Wait a second, okay? Oh, big brother. Where are you, Masa? What is it, Mune? Not again. So, you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masa Mune? What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. You can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. What should we do? The usual. Test them. You can entertain us for a while. Alright, here we go! Whoosh!
It's a bit confusing. Okay. So that doesn't work. Out of heal. I then try to drag this out. Apart, Masa and Mune are powerless. Hey, they're pretty tough. Only Cyrus made it this far. What should we do? This time, it's for real. Alright, this is it. Yeah, we mean business. With Masa's bravery and Mune's knowledge, To become one. Uh, first time you hear this awesome music. Good shit. Rex House, that fire sword. Storing tornado energy. Pain. Yes, indeed. What? Oh, I accidentally did a tech with him instead. I am running out of MP. Yes, indeed. Got him.
They beat us, big brother. That was fun. Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? Yeah, it'll be alright. So it was full when it was in the stone, but when they combined with it, it just turns into the top part of the blade for some reason. So, the Masamune is not just a myth, but it has been long broken. You got the broken Masamune. Allow me. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. Sorry, everyone. Some frog guy dropped this in the cafe. I thought I'd sell it, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. I just can't fake it any- oh, I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, please take this. Scoundrel, I knew this was all a sham. How could I have fallen for that? For my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. Listen to you! Who was going around telling everyone that you raised a hero, huh? Ups critical rate of the Masamune. But no one can equip it. Odd. Actually, wait, before I go in there, I better heal. <laughs> I love how Robo still sleeps in the bed, even though he doesn't get under the covers. Dog. What the hell? What does that even mean? <coughs> Excuse me. I need to, uh, take a s I like to start choking. Or my throat was kind of just like drying up there for a sec. He hath returned! The- the hero medal! Aye, then thou hast seen the lad. Yet there's nary a thing I canst do against Magus. The legendary Masamune is required to fight Magus, and I've no right to wield it. Please leave now. I like how Luca moonwalked back to the wall there. A broken sword? It's part of the Masamune. It's engraved with archaic letters. I think I can read it. Um, hmm. M E L C H I O R? Melchior? The guy in Medina Village? What does this mean, Chrono?
Nereus' soul remains to mend the Masamune. You done goofed. Actually, I want to see something here. Forest leads north to Guardia Castle. Okay. I hadn't read that sign before. So now I have to go back to the portal. Master or War changed yet? No, he's still the same little little puffball. Back again, come to see my collection. The this sword, it's the Masamune. How did you get it? Why would your name be engraved on the sword? It's a long story. You do want to hear this story, right? Of course, tell us about the Masamune. Is it possible to reforge it? Hmm. It might be possible if we could get our hands on some dreamstone, which is the sword is, which the sword is made of. Dreamstone? Where can we get that? You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. I doubt that you'll ever find the stone, but if you bring me some, I will fix the Masamune. Keep the sword with you until then. Would you like to buy something? Yeah, no, we're good. That's why you gotta go to the prehistoric era. <laughs> Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC. Book. Oh shit! They're all green and scaly. What, what are those?
<laughs> that two frame animation. We're outnumbered. What should we do, Chrono? I mean, we took out the other five pretty easily. Never mind. Here's sexy cave woman. Goodness, she is tough. Who is that woman? Uh oh. They're coming our way. Want? Eck! Chrono! You strong. What name? Chrono, huh? Good name. Me? Me? Ayla. Female Vegeta. Me, Ayla. Ayla like strong people. So Ayla like Chrono. Get away from her, Chrono. I think she likes you, Chrono. You're strong too. Hela respects strong people, men and women. Oh, brother. Where have they been keeping her? Chrono, where from? Uh, how can we explain? We're from way after the day after tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> you funny. Ayla like funny people. It's no use. Come to village. We talk and eat, dance, eat, fun. Oh, we'd love to go, but we've got to look for a dream stone right now. Stone? Plenty stones. Here, there, at village. You take plenty. Chrono, come. Ioka village this way. Jump? No. A berserker. Wait, I don't want a berserker. Fuck that. That's something that makes you automatically berserk, but raises your attack and defense. Horn. All right, there's a whole, there's a whole like um, bartering system that you do in prehistory. And you collect, uh, I believe it's horns, petals, stones, and fangs, if I'm not mistaken. Petal, yeah, there we go. And I believe fangs and stones are the other two, but I'm not 100% on that. this move so they they make a column of ice and then light it on fire to make it explode somehow 
Or I think it's more like they blow the icicle up into many shards with, with a bomb, and then have that rain down on the enemies. That's what the antipode is. Chrono, too slow. Chrono, come. Yoka Village this way. So prehistory, it's one big landmass instead of uh, a bunch of islands. You up. Drink sweet water, go strong when drink. Reptites have scales, cold blood, hard beat. Hard to beat. Hard beat. That's a delicious looking piece of meat in the corner. You wear odd skins. You want to see pretty stone? Red stone? Chief has. Chief's hut, north of village. Good. Chrono, come. Night soon and ready for party. Come, Chrono. Listen all. New friends here. Strongman, Chrono. Friends of Chrono, Marl, Luca, Unga. Now we dance. They're twisting my arm. Come on, Chrono, let's party. Good music. We passed down to many generations. Unga Bunga, Manga Meepo, Dance with Wind People. Dance with Mountain People, Sing and Dance All Night. You outsiders, but Ayla give party, why? Fantastic. I want to dance too. This is great, Car Come on, Chrono. Let's dance. Press to dance. Press A to stop. Lurzib. You've got to try some poi. Spoon it up. Are you a man or a mouse? Do it in one gulp. <laughs> burp. Can actually pull a burp there. I already ate. No.
Chrono, you try? Special Jurassic Pork Soup. Good stuff. Hela fight reptites. Their leader, Azala. Very smart. All in the Yoka village fight. No fight. Go to Laruba village. Don't know where village is. Always hide. Azala want to destroy Yoka and Laruba. But Ayla no lose. Only when Ayla dead give up. Enough. Meet Chrono today. Good day. Eat. Party. Sing. Dance. Chrono, you look for Red Rock? Rare Red Rock. Sign of power. Ayla strongest in the Yoka village. So Ayla's rock. You want. You challenge Ayla. You win. Then Ayla give to you. Challenge Ayla. Bring plenty soup. Party now. So eat. Chrono and Ayla have soup race. Yeah, soup in quotation marks. We start now. Press A button much times. Enough, Chrono. You win. I give you rock. Chrono, eat plenty. Eat last bowl for health. Okay, eat. Maybe eat too much. Phew. What? Liar. I was a perfect lady last night. But why does my tummy hurt so... Morning, Chrono. Wasn't that fun last night? Hey, who made these footprints? It's gone! The gate key's been taken! These prints were left by the thief. Without it, we're stuck here forever! This isn't funny. Let's go see Ayla. It's just going to keep happening, isn't it? Huh? Kono, up you already? But that, uh, That's broken English and I still couldn't read it right. Chrono, you up already? Yawn. I don't know why I said yawn out loud. <sighs> Too much soup. Sleep like stone. Sorry to have waked you, but we've been robbed. What? Must be reptites. Chrono, come with Ayla. We settle with reptites. Who else come? Uh, probably Marl in this case. Just because she needs this. She has the healing. Wow, Ayla's level 18. Frig. Someone from Village C. We go ask. Chrono, come. Stun all dinosaur, you know? Find pedal, fang, horn, and feather. Oh, it was feather, not a uh, stone. In hunting range. When rare, rare monster, when rain, rare monster appear. This trading house. Many things for trade. Want two new items? Petal and fang, ruby gun, petal and horn, sage bow, petal and feather, stone arm. It's so weird that they can make a sage bow. Fang and horn, flint edge, flint edge. Fang and Feather, Ruby Vest, Horn and Feather, Rock Helm. I tell you something good. Ruby Vest gets strong against fire. Not too hot when we're. Fade your shiny stone. Welcome, what you have. Fang, Pedal, Horn, Feather. Bring three for any two, and I give you one weapon or item. Which you give me? You have nothing, so no trade. Yeah, there's a whole thing where you could farm weapons and stuff. I, I don't know if it's worth it, though. Can't remember.
We saw reptites come from meeting site, went south to forest maze. Or Kino, gone all morning. Forest maze, scary place. Many monsters and paths to get lost on. Chief, be careful. Oh, that yummy food. Dactyl nest. I don't believe we go there yet. No, now we got. I, this is like my, my least, one of my least favorite areas. Not this, this part. The, the jungle maze is fine. It's the part after the jungle maze that I don't like, and I'm probably gonna have to do it tonight. Actually, I don't. Well, no, I don't know. I got 30 minutes before I have to stop. So yeah, I'm probably going to have to do it. Kino, what you do? Say now. Ayla, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla like Chrono, but Kino not like. Ayla, mellow out. Kino, you know why I punish... Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptites, where they go? One into trees, there. Ayla go too. Kino go back village. Kino protect village when Ayla not there. Okay, Ayla. Kino's men. So if Ayla die, Kino chief then. Ayla. Chase reptites. Get Chrono stuff back. Eaglets. So Ayla doesn't have weapons. She has her fists. And only her fists. But, as you reach certain levels, her fists automatically get upgraded in power. And again, there's actually a fist that you get for reaching level 99, which I will not be bothering to do. Our scarf is better. We will be giving that to her. Also, she does not need magic at all. I don't believe she learns any magic skills at all. Yeah, her gimmick is that she just hits like a tank. <laughs> just like all the other physical-based characters. She can heal, though, I believe. And hey, there she goes. She learned Kiss. Kiss, HP, some, and status restored. Well, that's even better than, uh, Aura. 
Rollo kick. Rollo kick an enemy. Okay. We need ape. Because somehow, even though an ape in the past evolves to have wings, it'll lose them when it evolves further. I, I don't know. Then again, there's no regular apes in this world, so maybe this is as far as they evolved. Umar learned a uh, cure, which is a very misleading title for a, a spell because it does not actually do uh, HP or heal ally more. Never mind. I thought that was cure status. All right. It, it's very weird that she gets aura as like an actual like normal ability, but then when she gets her magic unlocked, she gets the more powerful one. Shelter. Should really use those more. It is kind of hard to see where you're going sometimes because of the way that the ground looks and how the uh, layers... What, what, why did it turn red? How like the ground is kind of layered a bit. And then you got the shadows, so it's kind of like overlapping and it's a little hard to see. Also, this area is just very maze-like, so it's it's me you're meant to get lost in it. Turn into red eaglets for some reason. I don't. I don't get that. Oh, they could do fire now. All right. Now I get it. These things get to go a lot. Oh, 
Okay. Not doing too well here. These little eaglets are kind of a pain in the ass. Mid-ether. Oh, there's a chest over there I missed. There's like footprints, so it's like... That looked like the right way to go. Thankfully, once you've cre cleared out a room of enemies, they don't respawn until you leave, so... You just... Go through them at your leisure. Oh boy, all that for a heal. Oh, there was a there was a vine right there. Now it all makes sense. Reptite layer. Ugh. Stop hitting the wrong button. Fully exploring this area is annoying because of these enemies. Essentially, you can either fight them, or you could go down a hole that they create. And going down the holes is how you get forward in this area. And there's like a lot of areas that you have to have them dig in specific spots to go di to go in. Uh, and also, they don't take much damage. Gotta be a quicker way to deal with that. So you see there's like an area over to the right where if you had one of them dig to the right, you would have fell in instead. So if you actually want to get everything from this cave, it's a lot of work.
Here's a big dinosaur with the belly button for some reason. Megasaur. Which would make no sense if a dinosaur hatches from an egg. It shouldn't have a belly button. Oh yeah, and also this is the first example of uh, if you strike a dinosaur with lightning, they get shocked and their defense goes way down. down oh are they sleeping what the fuck that's weird I kind of love Megasaur's design. Really silly. Even if it is anatomically impossible. But then again, you know, you have flying monkeys. Chrono Trigger doesn't exactly go for the realism. benefit most from it. Ether. Uh, let's see. Can Ayla's new ability uh, mesh with anyone else's? Mm. Or actually, she didn't learn a new ability. She got Drill Kick with Chrono, which is weird because he didn't. Did he learn something new? No, he didn't. That's weird. I thought you're supposed to get um, 
dual techs like immediately after you learn a, an ability. I'm confused. There's a shiitake. Draw cook. It's pretty powerful. Flame kick. This goes up if we want to go back to the beginning. We need the heavy hitters here. We need Robo in. Yep, this leads right back to the first room. So essentially, if you just wait long enough, they dig into the ground. But where they dig in is completely random. You could kind of lead them there if you stay back by them, but I'm not entirely sure. No, 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 no. Keep going that way. <sighs> Whatever. We'll go down here. Yeah, we landed on the other side, but I believe, yeah, there's rooms down there as well. So it's kind of a mess again if you want, if you want everything in these uh, areas.
mid ether. Wasn't even really worth it. Also, let me just say, having a healing technique that only uses one MP per shot is so incredibly amazing. Yeah, see, every layer has more than more than one room in it, so it's like no matter where you go, which way you go, you're gonna have to fight through multiple rooms and do it over again. Actually, I don't really even have time to do a second, a third run through here. So after I finish this one, I'm probably just gonna finish the area. Maybe I'll get the rest of the items off stream or something. I'd rather not waste time on stream getting it, because again, it's just gonna be more random battles. If it's even worth it, it might not be. I can't remember, honestly. That is a nice item. So it gives plus six no matter who's wearing it. So I'll give it to her because it's probably the best. It also cuts fire damage by 50%. all the enemies respawn here, but we could slip up. Really? I don't understand how that one pulled me into a battle. How does a robot put to sleep? How does that work? How does a robot sleep? Did it just get shut down? It really doesn't make any sense. Again, Chrono Trigger doesn't exactly go for realism. Ooh, save point. Actually, I think this is probably a good place to stop. I know there's a boss fight, like, right ahead, but I have to stop now, unfortunately. Exactly- wait, really? Are we only- no, there's no way we're only six hours into this game. So I streamed it for two hours- oh, well, yeah, two hours, three hours, and then the one hour that I didn't- that I had to make up in the first stream. Because I played for half an hour, then got killed, and then had to redo it, so I lost 30 minutes. 
So yeah, we're at exactly six hours in this game. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's save it. Before I go, is there anyone I want to host? And the answer is... Not really, no. It's just random. Just all random people that don't uh, really need my hosts, so... Because they get way more viewers than I do. So I'll just let auto host take it over. Uh, I am done with the marathon stream week thing. Next week I'll go back to two a week and it'll be good. And more Chrono Trigger. Yay. Don't worry, I got plenty more planned after that too. So, there'll be lots of uh, subpar streams ahead. Anyway, you guys have a great evening. I will see you next week, I hope. Good night.